Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have b minus 11 divided by 11 minus b is equals to 11 and we solve this problem for all the values of b. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem from first method. So uh, here, uh, in the first method, uh, we move this 11 minus b from left hand side to the right hand side. It is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 11 and it will be written as b minus 11 is equals to 11 multiplied by 11 minus b and further in the next step we need a little bit more simplifications and it will be written as this is b minus 11 is equals to here we multiply this 11 on both of these two values and it will becomes 11 multiply 11 becomes 11 square minus 11 times of b uh, is written as 11b and further in the next step we need to combine uh, the uh, we need to move the variable terms into the left hand side and all the other terms to the right hand side so for this we move this minus 11 to the right hand side and we move this uh, minus 11b to the left hand side and it will be written as b plus 11b is equals to this is 11 square and plus uh, this will becomes here 11 and uh, further uh, you see here we have this is b plus 11b uh, becomes here 12b is equals to here we need to take common 11 and when we take common 11 we get the remaining values are 11 plus 1 and now here in the next step we get this is 11 and 11 plus 1 becomes here 12 so this term will be written as 11 multiplied by 12 and you see here our target is to find the values of b so for this we need to remove this 12 from left hand side and for this uh, we just divide both of the sides by 12 so when we divide by 12 it will be written as 12b divided by 12 equals to 11 times of 12 is divided by 12 and now you see here this 12 and this 12 are cancelled out by each other and we get the remaining values are in the left hand side we get b equals to in the right hand side this 12 and this 12 are cancelled out by each other and we get here 11 only so here you see that in this method uh, we get only one value of b and that is 11 so uh, in the next step here uh, we need to verify that uh, is this value of b be the solution or is this value of b be the extraneous root so for verification of this value uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is uh, b minus 11 divided by 11 minus b is equals to 11 so here uh, on, on into the left hand side we substitute the value of b and when we substitute this value of b it will be written as 11 minus 11 divided by 11 minus 11 is equals to 11 so further in the next step you see here we have 11 minus 11 becomes 0 over 0 form is equals to 11 so here you see that in the left hand side we have this is the 0 over 0 form or in other words uh, we just say that uh, it is the indeterminate form or uh, in other words we call that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal uh, we conclude about the value of b equals to 11 is that uh, the value of b equals to 11 uh, is be the extraneous root of the given equation uh, because it does not satisfy our given question statement 
and further you see here uh, we cannot get any other value of b which is satisfied our given question statement uh, so here uh, we call that uh, this question has no solution in general okay so this is the uh, final conclusion about the solution set of this problem and now here uh, we again solve this problem from second method uh, so for this uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is b minus 11 divided by 11 minus b is equals to 11 this is the our given question statement and here our second method uh, be the very straightforward method and here we uh, just directly move toward the solution set of this problem so here we need to take common negative sign into the numerator and when we take common negative sign we get here 11 minus b divided by 11 minus b is equals to 11 and now you see here this 11 minus b and this 11 minus b are cancelled out by each other and we will get here minus 1 is equals to 11 and you see here this is not possible case or in other words uh, you see here we cannot get any value of b so if we cannot get any value of b so this finally conclude about that this question has no solution so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos